five o'clock, the Ascot Stakes, two mile four, one of the longest races all year on the flat calendar. One of the interesting races of the week, this. Why? Because it's utterly dominated by national hunt trainers. That's right, you want a horse who's basically tried his luck or her luck over hurdles coming back on the flat. It also helps if you're trained by Willie Mullen, of course, who had the one, two, three, five last year. Ryan Moore takes the ride on Build Me Up Buttercup. This is a very interesting horse because she had some pretty good flat form when trained by Mick Shannon. It hasn't gone her way over hurdles, but she's got the high draw. Interestingly, in this race, the wider you are, the better you are because they do hustle and bustle on the inside early. Behind Willie Mullins, often is the case. Gordon Elliott, of course. There's a theme running here, isn't there? And he's got Mengli Khan. We were trying to back him for an Arkle, if you remember, in March. Of course, before he went to Elliott, he was with Hugo Palmer, had some pretty good flat form. He'll be fancied. Elliot also has Bats Rock in the race. He's disappointed so far since he's gone hurdling. He won it only down Patrick last time. However, he is a traveler and he'll love the hustle and bustle of this race. Elliot's gone to the trouble of booking a certain Gianfranco de Tori. We should mention the home team, of course. I do think this prize will be going back to Ireland, but Alan King might have a say. Yep, another jumps trainer. He's got Coeur de Leon, another horse that didn't really reach the heights expected of him over hurdles, but he's come back with a bang this year on the flat. I think Build Me Up Buttercup has to be the play here. She's going to get the run of it under Ryan Moore. She'll be unleashing late. She's around about four to one, but that's pretty solid.